You know, you'll see a link down below the description box, but, you know, I'm going to let you guys know. I mean, you, pretty, you pretty much know this by watching some of my videos, especially my cards of the week and my, you know, decks, showing off my decks and everything. And you might, you probably pretty much know that I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, but what I want to talk about is the differences of Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I probably talked about this before, but I wanted to talk about it again. And I'm not talking the differences between the game and the anime, or the magna in the anime. I'm talking about the difference, or even the differences between the very first anime and now, in the anime now, or even the different spin-offs and sequels and all that. I want to talk about the anime differences between here and Japan, and maybe even in other countries. Again, the link down below will pretty much kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. But, you know, I kind of find it a little weird. You know, I mean, I understand that when you're showing the anime on network, on, on television during Saturday mornings, or in my case, Saturday afternoons, that kids are not, well, not kids, but parents will not be happy if you dub the anime, but you keep everything else intact. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was very grateful, just like any fan, uh, back when uh, Funimation decided to release uncut English dubbed versions of, um, of the first season. In other words, what they did is they had the actors, the actors and actresses come back in there and do and basically do voiceovers again for the same episodes, but do them for more of a PG-oriented audience. Not a TVY7, but more PG, almost PG, uh, V or FV audience, or LV audience, you know what I'm saying? So I was grateful for that. I was also grateful when I used to work at Hastings, and even afterwards, that bookstores like that had these. These uh, magnas, these graphic novels, if you will, which basically are different than any other graphic novel because literally you gotta, you, you don't read like this, you gotta read from here, which is kind of, kind of cool. But I like how these are more basically set for, I guess as it's rated, the teen audience, the teenage audience, or the young adult audience, or people like me. I like how they give it that rating and kind of extinct, kind of establish. Hey, look, this is more for the young, for the teenage, older, adult audience than than what you see on television. And you know, again, I'm grateful for that. But here's what gets me. Here's what really gets me. Um, you could, the U.S. allows these books to be made, and that's okay, right? They allow these. And for a time, they allowed the uncuts to be English, the English dub uncuts, uncensored versions to be released as well. But then all that stopped, and all we ended up getting was the censored version on DVD, and probably now nowadays on Blu-ray. And, and to me, I'm thinking, why would you take out a good chunk of what makes this a good show? I'm not saying it isn't a good show the way it is. I mean, when the final season of the original Yu-Gi-Oh came out. You know, the fifth season, basically the finale to the original Yu-Gi-Oh, before they went into GX, before they um, went into 5Ds, before they went into Zexel, if you will, before they did any of that, and it kind of surprised me of how dark certain things got, especially with the final season, and how far they were trying to go, and how much or how much kind of on the edge they were trying to be. But to me, it's like, when I go on this website and I take a look at the differences between what was originally aired and what wasn't, and then, of course, be able to do what I did a couple of many years ago, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, and that's download for multianime.net, which obviously is not multi-anime anymore, but an anime site like that, download the uncut episodes and see what was cut out and chunked out, and then again go to this website and look at all the seasons, look at all the episodes and see the biggest differences. It's like, 
are you seriously kidding me? I mean, I was watching uh, an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1 last week on The Vortex. And, you know, back when, back when you would first see it, you probably wouldn't notice any difference, right? But when you compare it to what was originally aired in Japan, it's like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? And I can understand there's a lot of restrictions and everything, but come on. I mean, here's what I've always thought they should have done, because like I said, I was one of those many fans out there that was grateful that Yu-Gi-Oh! the first season was able to get the, some of their episodes uncut in English dubbed and released here in the U.S. You know, to me, I'm thinking, why can't you, why couldn't you just sacrifice the money and have two versions like you did every year released onto DVD? I don't understand it. Or, if Yu-Gi-Oh! for a time, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you know this, was on Cartoon Network, why couldn't you have had the uncut episodes aired on Cartoon Network's Toonami or Adult Swim? Or why couldn't you have Funimation air Yu-Gi-Oh! uncut? Well, Vortex, places like Vortex and CW before it and Kids WB would air the edited versions. I, I, I don't get that. I really don't. Or what about Aniplex? Or Bandai? Whatever you want to... All these anime channels, that like, like right now, you can find it at Hulu Plus. And if you have satellite, you can probably get on your satellite dish or something. Or Dish Network or whatever. Why couldn't they just let those be. Be, uh, be the channels that aired the uncut versions. I mean, what was it? Finance rise? That's fine. You know what you do? You do what Anaplex is doing right now, if you will, with some of their animes they got on there. Have them air the uncut Japanese dialogue with subtitles added to it. So that way, pretty much you get what is originally intended to be, instead of having some, you know, edited, tamed version. And again, don't get me wrong, I understand why they did this. I understand why they did this. But if they could put out the effort like they did when the show first came out, Oh, on DVD, if they could put out the effort due to fan demand to have the uncut episodes released in an English dub, basically have the same voice cast come back in and say, okay, uh, we're going to have you guys do the same episode again, but we're going to have a different, there's going to be a few dialogue changes to make it more adult oriented or more PG FV related, you know what I'm saying, or PG 13 related. You know, to me, it's like if you could do that, if you could do that, with um, the, with those episodes then, you could have kept doing it. They could have kept doing it. And, you know, the differences are, you know, yeah, there are some differences that obviously when you look at it, you think, whoa, I don't think they would want to see that in there. Or they wouldn't want to have that in there. Yeah, I get that. But you know what? If you're an anime enthusiast, and I'm not saying I am, but if you're someone that's a fan of the show, of an anime, and you hear and you tell people, oh, well, I saw it when it finally came out here, and then they hear or then they hear or read your review on it. You don't want them to come up and you know reply to you and say, oh, by the way, good review, but uh, you're missing a few things. There's a few scenes that you're missing, and you don't want to keep. You don't want to have to ask them, well, what are you talking about? And then have them tell you what you're missing or show you what you're missing. To me. To me, what Funimation needs to do, what they need to do, whoever owns the rights to the anime need to do, is they need to go back and get the actors and actresses to come back, redub some of the episodes, uncut, just like they did before, or, for the heck of it, just release the Japanese dialogue version with the subtitles. A lot of studio, a lot of DVD distributors, Blu-ray distributors, they do that. They do that, folks, and 
And it works. It's a success. They sell. And they know it. Those people, they know it sells. They can't deny that fact. They know it sells. And that's why they know they need to get those DVDs and Blu-rays out eventually. I mean, when people look at Sonic X, when it first came out in Japan, and heck, even when the third season came out in France, they were uncut, they were unedited. What did we get? We got a tame version. Well, okay, not totally tame. Sonic X Season 3, just like Yu-Gi-Oh's final season, I admit, tried to go over the edge. They tried to be a little edgier than normal. But they couldn't because of restrictions. And again, I understand why the restrictions are there, but you know what? Times are changing, and eventually down the line, you're going to have to realize you've got to change with the times, times but so do your And at the same time, same time you've got to have your restrictions change as well. All I'm saying is that with the changing of the times, the changing of the guard, you need to change certain restrictions as well. You know, keep them in place if you have to, who are like airing on television and all that. But if you're going to put them and release them on DVD and Blu-ray, let them be released in, on Blu-ray and DVD as they're originally intended to be. Or, if you feel like it, do what some, div some DVD and Blu-ray distributors are doing. You know, release two different versions. If they can do it with movies, you could do it with shows like Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, there are many people that want to see uh, the final season of the original Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, they, they want to see that in its uncut format. There's a lot of people that want to see the Wake of the Dragon Saga uncut format. They want to see Battle City. You know, they want to see the Grand Championships. You know, and you know, all uncut. They want to see all of this. You know what I'm saying? They want to see Dawn of the Duel. You know, uncut. They want to see that. And I think companies like Funimation or whoever else is in charge of DVD distributing this show and series like it need to do it. I mean, I don't even know if they tamed this down. And if they did, I'd like to see the uncut version of this. Again, I'm saying if they could do it with movies, they could do it with DVD. These, uh, with anime shows and live action shows and stuff like that, especially something like that. But to me, you know, I just feel they need to work, work this out and they need to do it so that fans can see how it was originally intended to be. So, that's all I'm going to say. Comment down below if you like, and I'll talk to you later. But the title right there says right there, Yu-Gi-Oh! Anime Differences what needs to be fixed, or how they can be fixed.